In this video you will learn how to create Azure virtual machine and host multiple websites on that virtual machine. So basically we will be creating a virtual machine and using that virtual machine to host multiple websites just like a shared hosting provider. We will look at that how to bind domain if you have with the existing websites on IIS. Also if you don't have any domain we will learn how to host website using the ports. So let's get started. I'm going to open Azure account. Here I'll click on portal. Now I'm on Azure portal now. So I'll go ahead and browse the resources. Type here virtual machine. So here it is. I'll click on virtual machine. And then I'll click on add. Now I'm here on compute piece. Here I'll type windows server 2008 r2 so that will be my operating system on the virtual machine so i'll click on that and now i'll select here windows server 2008 r2 service pack 1 so if you look at this list there are various softwares which is which will be pre-installed with this operating system but I'll just go ahead with the simple one that's the Windows Server 2008 R2 so I'll click over that and now here I'll select my resource manager so I'll click on resource manager so resource manager is basically something which will hold your multiple services under a container so that's a resource so i'll create here a name for my visual machine virtual machine so that's abhi menu i'll type abhi menu add username as well and a password so that's my password and i'll go and click on select existing resource group but that's not here so i'll click one demo resource group and then I'll select the location so that will be East Asia in my case that's the nearest so East Asia here it is and I'll click on OK so now it will create the virtual machine for me but before that I need to select here the plan so I'll probably select the basic one so I'll select and click on select now here the overall picture of my pre-selection so I'll select here the disk type of standard so this will go and create a new storage account so it will be demo resource group 4187 by default and the virtual network name this is also the new one and subnet and public IP address and that all I'll keep it as default and I'll go ahead and I'll hit on OK now. So let's see, it's uh, running the validation now. So validation is passed now. And now I'll click on OK here. So this will go and create the virtual machine with operating system Windows Server 2008 R2. So I can go ahead and watch the deployment here. So let's wait till the virtual machine is being created let's look at the older portal azure portal which we had earlier so that's the manage window azure.com we could have gone through this url and created that virtual machine here that's the new portal so i used this one i'm still waiting to see the success message now you can see deployment success message here so let's go ahead and try to connect this vm so I'll click on connect this will download RDP file for me so I'll click on that and I'll type my username here and the password so my username was a menu and password sorry I'll not say that so it's connecting and I'll click yes and it will take me on virtual machine so let's wait till it's configure we will not see this message next time onwards so i am on desktop now so that's the initial configuration window so i'll go ahead and click to close this now i'll click on this so that's a server manager and here i will add some roles right so i'll click on role let's wait till it's collecting the data 
so now I'll go ahead and click on add role and here I'll click on next and I'll check the waves over here so I'll click next next and I'll go with the default so next and install so this will take a couple of minutes to complete the IS installation and after that we will be able to see the local host base as we browse in i so as i already mentioned i will not create here ns records or even the c names and for this demo i'll just use the a records so i'll use this vm public ip on my domain registrar to map the domain if you have domain so you can go ahead and use that public ip address that's here 23.99.109.55 as a record and disable all the nish and cnames if you have any mapping with the earlier hosting providers if you don't have domain we will go ahead and add some additional ports and we will host those websites on the ports you can see is is installed so i can go and close these windows now i will open i and try to browse on localhost just to see if IIS is correctly installed on this VM so I'll go ahead and type here HTTP colon and localhost if IIS is correctly installed I will see the IIS window here okay so IIS is correctly installed now let's go ahead and browse to our root location and create few demo website so that's in it pub ww root and i'll click to create a folder here so that's website one and i'll click to add another folder and i'll type the name website two oh, i'm back yeah that's here i'll rename this folder this is quite slow because of my internet speed so that's two I'm going to add two demo files here I mean I'm going to add a demo file here so I'll name it index.sdml but actually there is txt already so I need to remove that txt extension for this I'll go and show all the extensions and here it is I need to remove this txt part to create a HTML page so that's now HTML page and I'll open it in notepad so open with you may have another editor I'll write here some text website one okay no that's two you can see it here so that's two I'll copy this file to my website one as well so that's website one I'll edit it and I'll rename it now I'll open IIS and add these two websites so I renamed actually I named the folders website one website two you may have used the name like abc.com def.com and like that so that's a demo so I'm using just a simple name so that we can browse in two so I'll go ahead and type website one again here so and I'll copy the location and put it here and the default port for HTTP is 80 and if you have domain you can go ahead and type domain name and keep it 80s but in my case I don't have domain for now so I'll use another port so 8081 is my new port for website one so I'll add it now the another website website two you will learn how to bind the domain in a couple of minutes so for now just keep 8081 and the another one is 8082 so that's two ports 8081 and 8082 I'll be using here the reason I am using this is that I don't have domain now 
so I want to see that website live on this port so I'll click OK here I'll minimize that and if I try to browse this website locally on this VM so I can see that website is working great but now I need to allow these ports on firewall so that I can access these websites outside this VM so I'll go ahead and search for firewall and advanced security I'll add inbound and outbound so port number is 8081 next allow all the connection next next I'll name it 8081 so that I can see which port is that so and another inbound rule port number 8082 so I have Two websites that's why I'm using both ports here in the firewall and now the outbound rules I'll click on port here again next and 8081 and then I'll add 8082 next time 8081 and finish another for 8082 port next 8082 next allow all the connections next next 8082 and then finish now i have added both the ports on firewall so now i'll be able to access these websites i mean these ports outside virtual machine network so let's go ahead and try to browse these ports but before that i need to allow these ports on the portal endpoint as well so let's try to browse if not success then I'll go ahead and add endpoint so I'll type here my IP address 23.99.109 23.99.109 and then let me see dot five five okay dot five five I'll hit enter here I should be able to see IIS space here if not then I need to allow port number 80 using the endpoint so it's taking longer that means I need to allow 80 number port so let's find out where's the endpoint search for network network security group I'll click on this and now here you can see the inbound and outbound security tools just like the way we have added on firewall inbound and outbound so I'll click on inbound here and I'll hit add and and I will name it 8081 so before that I'll add 80 port just 80 port so I'll type 80 okay then I'll click on add another that's 8081 so destination port is 8081 okay click on okay now so it's creating 8081 now I'll add 8082 and destination is 8082 and I hit OK here okay again there is same error 8082 is not created so let me check again 8082 and 8082 click on ok so that's creating that rule so that's all about inbound security rules basically I took help from this page because on new Azure portal there is some changes in earlier portal we had this option over here so I have this virtual machine and that's the endpoint that was easy to find but in new portal I had to take help from community so I'll try to browse another port number 8081 here oh I am able to see my first site and here's a second site now let's go ahead and bind a domain so as you know that's 
my IP address public IP address or virtual machine so I'll go ahead and I can add this to my domain controller I'm in domain registrar so I'll go ahead and sign in so I'm going to use my 8081 port to host my domain so here my domain I have which domain I should demo for you let's use quick software dot in I have this domain so I'm going to choose this domain just to show and that I'll roll back the changes so I'll come here on DNS zone file and here's the setting a host so I'll add host a host WWA on both will point to my this IP address 23991095 so I'll go ahead and edit this that's here okay so I'll click finish now here again I'll edit this and finish and I'll hit save changes now I have added my VM IP address on the domain now I need to go and edit the binding of 8081 to map my domain not the port so I'll back to default 18 port and I'll type your quick software dot in so that was my domain quick software dot in so you can see here that's a quick software dot in domain on code ID I added the a record here and then I used this and make sure to roll back to 80 number port so I'll hit OK and I can add www as well here so I can go www.quicksoftware.com sorry dot in so that's all I need to do I'm good now so I can go and try from GeoPicker. so this website is just a tool this will tell the story of your domain so quick software dot in so I'll hit go and this will tell me if that website I mean that domain is pointing to my VM site one website one page or not so that's a different geographical location I can see that website so you can see the message here uh, uh, let me zoom in so you can see that here right so I hope this is feasible yes so this may take some time to appear on your internet service provider so let me browse that it may be pointing oh it's started pointing to new website you can see that so that's all about hosting multiple websites on Azure virtual machine using a records you can also use port number as we used 8082 my website that was on 8081 port is now available with dot domain and that's mapping the default 80 number port so I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked just give a like that's it thank you so much